All right, here is the initial boot of an OG Xbox hard drive that I just built with Fat Explorer using Rocky 5's Xbox hard drive manager variant. Yeah, just so you can see what it, it looks like. So that means it's initiating. All right, and I apologize for the lame ass improvised monitor risers. My uh, other monitor actually died right when I set this up. That's how it works. Just like any time you're trying to demo, it's Murphy's Law. Something else is gonna inhibit that, right? Anyway, so let's get through this. Uh, <clears throat> This isn't any different than installing Rocky 5 from a memory unit. It's just initiated differently. And I wanted to mention that I'm currently using Cable Select for the jumper settings. Um, Depending on the drive, that may or may not work. So usually you'll have best results um, with Cable Select or Master. And you may have to change that. I, I periodically have to move the jumpers around to get them to play nice with the USB to IDE adapters. And then sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't on an OG Xbox. Just keep in mind that you'll, you may have to play with jumpers. And this is ac actually a factory OG Xbox drive that I'm just using for a test. Um, and sometimes that initial cycling that the lead light, the indicator goes through can take some time. It was quick this time, but I've seen it cycle through the colors for 15 to 20 seconds, and it's unnerving the first time you've done that. I've never seen that when you're launching the installer from the memory unit, but anytime you know, you're a noob and you're playing with the hard drive, it, it can be a little stressful, especially if that's your baby that you've had for a long time and you don't want to fuck it up, right? Okay, so the other thing I want to show, I have Fat Explorer automatically create this. So an Xbox hard drive manager can do the same thing, but like, um, and on a prior video when I was building the TSOP Serbios hard drive, um, I was choosing folders to pre-populate C and E. Uh, same with this one, just different contents. And so this is created by Fat Explorer. Um, and all you're doing is just taking this folder and then moving the extras disk ISO into it. Um, all of these folders, one, one, two, three, four, five, are created by the Rocky 5 installer on the initial boot. Um, I like this. And you know what? I've, I've, demoed this in a prior video, but it can't hurt to do it again. This is nice. Um, and you can also flip the device back. It just gives you options. Options are nice. But it takes no time just to have um, either Xbox Hard Drive Manager or Fat Explorer put that on there for you when you create the drive. Um, so the main things that I do with it is I may decide to flip a device back to factory, back into the retail state. 
sometimes I can do this. Um, I don't know how useful these are anymore with the state of the degrading DVDs, but those are there. Um, now, this is nice. And since this is version 1.22, these are current. Um, but for sure, at a minimum, I'm going to install XBMC for Xbox. And then you've got these two options, too. Um, and dashboard stuff, if you care. Um, but it's just nice to have these here in one place. And if you consistently build your drives this way, you can always rely on that. And if you are buying and selling, um, giving them away as gifts, um, you'll know where to direct people, right? And you know what? And unfortunately, to get out of here, So you can just tell people to go to System, File Explorer, right? And then they're on their own, right? To install whatever they want. But there you go. That is the default or the initial boot process of a newly, newly created hard drive if you're using the Rocky 5 Xbox Hard Drive Manager installer variant.